Okay, so let's talk about the units of a discussion board. Um, and uh, this is kind of a fun question, I think. To what extent did television shape American life and politics, especially during uh, what people are calling the golden age of television here in the 1960s and 1970s? Uh, you may have noticed I was not alive during the golden age of television, but uh, I did grow up watching all those Nick at Night uh, reruns of uh, all those classic shows from uh, different folks uh, at uh, the Good Times, the Brady Bunch, to... Um, even the Jetsons and the Flintstones. And some of the television programs were really popular during uh, the 1960s and 1970s. And I think uh, it reshaped Americans' uh, social and cultural life in, in a variety of different ways during this time period. But we're most focused on over on the discussion board, we can talk about some of those good memories we might have of uh, television or uh, kind of what it represented as it came online during that time period. Um, but we want to think about American uh, politics as well. Um, one of the things uh, that we see during this time period is the famous Kennedy uh, versus Nixon debate where John F. Kennedy uh, is uh, polling higher among voters that watched uh, the debate on television. Nixon actually wins among voters who listened on the radio. I mean, we can see maybe a television playing in there in a very direct way in political life. We can also see uh, kind of television influencing uh, in the same way that we see the media influence a variety of different things today, um, how average Americans perceive world events or things that are happening nationally. So uh, during the Vietnam War, which many uh, historians have called the television war, um, Americans are going to be uh, watching body counts uh, climb on television uh, every day uh, with no clear territorial markers. One of the things in the Vietnam War that made it very difficult to broadcast in contrast to World War II was that uh, we weren't necessarily gaining territory a lot of the time uh, with few exceptions during the war. We would go fight uh, on a hilltop uh, and uh, America uh, might uh, win uh, kind of the body count uh, tally and claim a victory, um, but then uh, fly back on a Huey helicopter to base and uh, we're not necessarily following the lines clearly. Um, what I mean by lines is during World War II, um, Americans could see the territory we were taking following uh, the Normandy invasion or while we were island hopping in the Pacific against the Japanese. Um, and like I think about uh, my grandmother taught in a, a one room country school and they had a map of Europe and they'd pin up uh, little tanks on uh, the uh, map and they would move them closer to Berlin as uh, the allies advanced in Europe. And that was uh, played really well with uh, people where in uh, Vietnam, uh, we're seeing all these uh, images. There's a lot of reporters embedded with the military that aren't necessarily casting the military in the most uh, favorable light. And that's uh, influencing how people think about the war at home. Also with the American Civil Rights Movement, we're seeing this reshape how people think about uh, some of these different things. Um, and we're familiar with this today. We still see this uh, in the ongoing uh, civil rights uh, struggles in the United States. The idea that uh, there can be flashpoint moments. During this time period, uh, things like um, uh, the uh, kind of march on Selma led by Martin Luther King Jr. is going to be televised all across the country and it's going to spark people to action, um, leading to the Freedom Rides uh, and uh, voting registration in Alabama. Um, the Freedom Rides are another great example of people seeing images of a bus being set on fire uh, as people are seeking to de desegregate uh, interstate bus uh, stations. Um, and that's going to influence how people think about some of these events. Um, a localized example here at Waldorf University, one of our uh, former students during this time period, uh, she eventually went on to become an education major, she's now a retired teacher uh, in Minnesota. Um, she was a student here on campus at Waldorf University and decided she wanted to get involved and went to Alabama during the late 1960s um, as a part of the voting rights campaign. And she was uh, just a small town girl from Minnesota that uh, wanted to do something. It was influenced by some of the images she saw on television. So uh, we're going to be talking about that over on the discussion board. I hope we'll have a really good, uh, respectful conversation. Um, let's uh, put in our research. Let's uh, bring our uh, kind of uh, A game over on the discussion board. Let's have a really good uh, conversation here in Unit 7. Thanks.